Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Love Sims here, and we are back for episode 24 of Family Ties. So, as you can see, we are in a slightly different setting. Um, Leilani was the first one up this morning, but if you look down here in our household, um, little inventory bar or whatever this is, whatever it's called, <laughs> we have a full house now, sort of, kind of. Juliana is officially in our household, as well as Mr. Ollie here, and we're in a brand new house and in a brand new world. So this is our new house. Um, it's located in Brindleton Bay. I did get the house off the gallery. It was a shell, and I just went in and kind of decorated it and furnished it to my liking. Um, I kind of went with a style that belonged to a house that I found on Pinterest, but I couldn't, when I tried to replicate the house on, that was on Pinterest, it just didn't look right. So I ended up downloading this one and kind of giving it that same sort of, um, paneling and siding and all that. And, but I'll give you guys a quick tour while everybody's kind of getting ready for the morning. So as you can see, Jamie got that basketball goal that he's always wanted and never could have. And then when you come inside, okay, Ollie, you better not be scratching my brand new couches. And he is. Oh, what? No, sir. No, sir. He better be glad nobody. Okay, Leilani, stop. 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 Where are you going? No. Tell Ollie to stop. Lecture him about scratching. And what else can we lecture him about? I guess that's it. So we're not going to lecture him about jumping, and up, jumping up on tables. We're not going to do that. Talk to. Tell him to get out because you know that's not how we get down in this house. But yeah. You guys see it. Okay, so her brothers are in the way. Really, y'all? That's how y'all feel. Take a shower in their bathroom then. But yeah, um, you'll see the house as we go through it, as we live in it. But basically, they decided to go ahead and move in together at kind of... I mean, Roman pitched the idea. He was just like, look, the house is really small. I feel like me and the kids are on top of each other. I feel like our relationship is moving, you know, moving along pretty well. And I really want to move, but I wanted to talk to you about it first. Um, you know, Leilani's getting ready to go to college soon. And I'd really like for her to kind of have space, you know, to venture out a little bit but I want to be near her when she does go to school and Juliana was she was down for it because she would love to be close to her family as well who what are you doing was he supposed to be petting the cat because if he was that was totally awkward um we're gonna light this fire use the restroom because apparently it is freezing I'm going to go ahead and let him take a nice steamy shower and brush his teeth. But yeah, Juliana felt like it was a good move as well. She really felt like the boys needed their own rooms, especially with everything that's going on. You know, there's a little bit of tension between Jamie and Jaden. Jamie's feeling like it's Jaden's fault that things are the way that they are, that they're different and that the family's not together anymore. And Jaden, you know... He's taking it in stride. Him and Juliana are pretty much becoming super fast friends. Let me see if I can pull that up. They're becoming super fast friends. Like she's real they've really been there for each other because they're kind of both like the new kids on the block, which is crazy to even say that because Jaden is a fam like he's a certified family member. He was here. Juliana, get your cat. Lecture him about jumping on counters because that's a no. That is an absolute no. And he had the nerve to look at us like, you looking over this way? Did he just tell us no? 
Okay, so as you can see, Roman is looking all spiffy. He is ready to tackle the day. It's a big day for him. He went and got his hair cut. Hold on, let's pause for just a moment. Let's just pause for just a moment and appreciate my baby because he is everything. <laughs> Ooh, if I could sing, I'd be singing me some Mary J. Blige right now. He is looking like a whole snack. But, um, Juliana, if that doesn't cheer you up, baby, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Let's have her go over here and sniff the fresh clothing. She's like, mm, baby, you smell good. <laughs> um, go ahead and melt. Caress that cheek. Yeah, yeah. You, you smell it. You see it. Brighten his day a little bit. She's like, babe, you look amazing. I take it you're excited about meeting my parents today. And he's like, of course I am, babe. Why wouldn't I be? Um, I want her to flirt with him a little bit. And then I feel like she would probably express her fondness for him. Just give him that reassurance. Like... You know you're a king, right? And you know I love you dearly. I'm really happy that we did this. I'm happy that we moved in together. The kids are going to be happy. It's going to be better. Let's sweet talk him just a little bit. And we're going to whisper seductively in his ear because he's making us feel some type of way. Go ahead and whisper. She's like, but hold that thought. I got to use the restroom. <laughs> So let's go ahead and have her go over here and kind of get situated. She's hungry. We're going to let her use the restroom and then she can come back and finish um, her gumbo. I want Roman to make him up a pot of coffee and grab him something as well. I think I want him. What's in our fridge? He can grab some eggs and toast. I'm not going to worry about the kids. They're old enough to kind of take care of themselves. We will go ahead and put some food in Ollie's bowl. We'll fill it and call him to come eat. Are you seriously scared of the coffee pot? He is. He's like, I don't like that gurgling sound. That sound kind of weird. Who's calling? What's up, Jamie? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Sure. But yeah, Juliana just felt like the boys needed their own space. Um, she felt like it was important for Leilani to have, you know, she's always had a room to herself, but just more space to kind of do what she likes to do as well. A balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Um, it's unhealthy. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. I don't know what else to say. But yeah, you can kind of see the kids' room. So this one's Jaden's room. He's really into gaming right now. So we kind of went with that theme in here. And blue and orange are his favorite colors. So we went with that in his room. Jamie demanded that he get a big boy's room because his birthday is actually going to be tomorrow. He's going to be aging up into a teen. So he was just like, don't give me a kitty room. Wait, Juliana is here. Why are we asking Roman out on a date and we live in the same house? I'm telling you, my game has been acting really wonky. But yeah, he demanded something a little more grown up for his room. So that'll be ready. We'll probably add some more personal touches once he ages up. We did not have an office space for Roman. So he has this little landing it works. It's more than what he had at our old house. And then this is Leilani's room. I feel like Leilani would come in here and just be like, get the heck off of my desk. What is wrong with you? Juliana, I need you to get ready, honey. Are you done? Okay, so she's done everything she needs to do. Head back to your room, please. And put on your outfit because we need to get ready to go. 
Okay guys, so we're here. Juliana's mother was already waiting outside, but it is freezing, so let's get the introductions out of the way and get in the house. I think we're still gonna have to knock on the door. That is so weird, but um, that's okay. I just wanna get in, get in the house. And look at these two. They look so good. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Juliana um, lightened her hair a little bit. I think it looks amazing on her. I do want her to maybe take a photo with Roman, though, because they look great together. Juliana didn't like something her mom said. Um, as you can see down here in the relationship panel, she's not that close to her parents. Like, I feel like with her being an only child and then moving away from home, they just are not the type of family that really were close-knit like that like her mom is an educator so she she's a professor at one of the colleges and um she was always gone and kind of busy her dad is a judge so he was always busy and gone mom's in the photo kind of mad about that but that's okay because it kind of looks like she doesn't condone this relationship but she's gonna have to get over it because this is this is bae <laughs> This is Bay. He's not going anywhere. We're going to go ahead and go in the house. She's looking all stuck up. Oh, my gosh. Juliana's like, we are not staying long if she starts acting out. I love their house, though. It looks so warm and so inviting. I think that they love their daughter and she loves them. But at the same time, you know, um... They just were not that close. She had a nanny growing up. You know, let's go in here and brighten our dad's day. Can we give him a hug as well? I mean, we should be able to. Yeah, we'll hug him lovingly. No love lost. Like, her dad is definitely very protective. He's def very much, you know, she's his little princess. And he wants to make sure that everything is good. So I'm going to have Roman go ahead and do a cheerful introduction. Like, hello, sir. It's nice to finally meet you. I've heard quite a bit about you. Um, Juliana tells me you're a judge. Come on, pay him some attention. The parents are acting kind of, I don't know. Juliana's like, Dad, please, can you get Mom? She's she's acting like one of those today. Roman has learned that Jameson is a chief of justice at Bagley and Buckley LLP. Okay, that's great. He, he wants to woohoo. <laughs> We're meeting the parents, and you're thinking about woohoo. All right, Roman. Um, what can we do? I think we'll just all maybe go and sit together. Um, sit and chat here. We can flatter him. We can also discuss interests with him. Let's discuss our own interests. We're going to, um, where was it? Right his day, because Juliana did mention that back in the day, her dad used to do some tech work too, before he, you know, before he got into the whole law scene. So they can kind of share techie tips and tricks and things. And Ju Juliana's just here to kind of be the median. <laughs> Um, let's gush about our partner. She's like, Dad, he he does work for himself, and he does so well at what he does. He's really well known. Everybody seeks him out for their jobs. He does all kinds of things, from jobs for the government to just, you know, small things for local businesses and charities. Like, he's amazing. Let's also <laughs> We'll tell a funny story. 
and kind of flatter him as well. We're just trying, she's trying to butter him up, kind of sway him towards Roman's side. Not that Roman needs any help, but she's nervous. And Roman's not going to give parenting tips, but I feel like he would maybe, um, where's he going? He keeps trying to go work out. No. Let's go maybe, let's go maybe try to warm up the mom. Where's, where's the mom? Okay, Josephine. Let's brighten her day a little bit. He's like, hey, Miss Josephine, um, how are you doing today? Let's ask her about her day. It's really nice to meet you. Juliana's told me a lot about you as well. You're an educator at Brightchester, I believe. He's like, that. I'm, I'm an alumni um, from there. I... Me and my daughter are actually going to go tour the college next weekend. And she's like, oh, okay, that's nice. So you you come from, look at her. She is not amused. What are her traits? Let's try to tell a funny story, maybe. What is this? Lifestyle spread. From having a good discussion about lifestyles, Roman had a great conversation sharing his lifestyle. Sometimes the best way to enjoy a lifestyle is to share that joy with others. And then feeling close, okay. He's really talking and she just doesn't seem. Julian is like, Mom, um, did Roman tell you he has his own programming business? Oh my gosh, it's not. This is not going how I expected. Josephine is usually a pretty open Sim, Look at Roman. He's just like, okay, this isn't going quite like I thought it would. And Juliana's just looking kind of hopeless. Like, mom, please, you're embarrassing me. Well, Roman is the type to try to, you know, put his best foot forward but he is not the type to try to kiss nobody's butt so i think i'm gonna let him kind of just go where can he even go they don't have tv either i think i'm gonna have him just kind of go up here and sit take a breather Juliana wants to do something romantic. She also wants to watch romantic TV. She's just chatting with her parents. And he's just like, honey, we just want the best for you. Are you sure that this is what you want? You know, he seems like a nice guy, but I understand he's got three kids and he's divorced. And she's like, uh-huh, yeah, but he's a great guy, you don't know his story, it wasn't his fault, and he's like, baby, it takes two people to have a relationship fail, and he's like, dad, she's just like, dad, you, you really don't get it, and he just walks away, no care in the world, Roman's like, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get a little workout in, concentrate, focus, we're gonna go up here, and we're going to offer him a massage. We are going to caress his cheek. She's like, babe, I'm so sorry that this is not really going the way that we anticipated. But trust me, they'll warm up to you. And he's like, baby, I'm not worried about it. You know, as long as you and I are good, then I'm perfectly happy with that. And she's like, well, we are definitely good. Um, and I feel like he would kiss her cheek, hold her hands, um, profess his undying love for her, and kiss her like kiss kiss Aww. 
Okay, guys, so they made it to the restaurant. They're going to try to make it through dinner, and then they're going to head home. They have not told her parents that they moved in together because their parents are already acting kind of shady. Um, Roman just excused himself to go to the restroom, and they're just ordering for the table. Um, they Roman and Juliana had a little bit of a moment back at the house. Roman is a respectable sim. Like, he's not going to defile her parents house or anything but he definitely was feeling some type of way and him and juliana had a little makeout session in her old bedroom but they didn't do anything more than that however it is definitely on roman's mind and i think it's on juliana's mind as well <laughs> so they're really trying to get through this dinner because they're ready to go home and spend some alone time together if you know what i mean um if you notice, Roman's being a little quiet. Her dad's kind of just talking about money and business deals. Little do they know, you know, her dad makes really good money a day. But I actually think Roman kind of has him beat if you average out his jobs. Like right now, Roman is averaging anywhere from seven to 12, 14,000 simoleons per um project that he does so if you average that out to how many times a day juliana's dad actually goes in to work i'm thinking roman's beating him when it comes to salary but you know parents they're not really taking the time and roman's letting it be known he's like okay i really am not vibing with this lady let's um let's maybe try to get to know her a little bit I don't like that they're not getting along, but what can you do? Juliana understands her mom can be a bit of a handful. Um, let's discuss interests with her and ask her about her hobbies and skills. Um, we can ask her kind of what made her want to be a teacher. It's a question that he asked Juliana as well when they first met. It's just always intriguing to him to hear what people have to say and mama is not liking him at all roman's gonna go ahead and give some relationship advice because oh juliana didn't like something too maybe she didn't like the way that roman kind of responded to her but he can only take so much He's giving romantic advice. He's like, yes, I am divorced, but I believe in, you know, I don't technically believe in it. However, I can't force, I couldn't force my ex-wife to try to make things work. And after, you know, everything that happened, I don't, I didn't feel like there was any chance of reconciliation. So I did what I had to do, you know, what was best for me and my kids. And I would hope that any other parent in my situation would do the same thing take that take that ma'am and she seemed a little impressed by that you know sometimes you can't be mr nice guy you can't be too nice there you go loosen up josephine dang <laughs> like come on now let's can we gush about our partner to um Okay, that's kind of jacked up. My Sims have been doing that a lot. They've kind of just been resetting. Hopefully, they'll start eating. They did at least sit. I don't think she's going to eat her food, but that's all right. It is what it is. The quicker we can leave. Because I've, kind of, I've kind of had it. But this is the hind quarter hideaway um, bed and breakfast. This is where locals at Burnleton Bay kind of come for a more fine dining experience. And I love it because the decor is really nice. They don't really have the tree decorated um, the way that it normally is during the winter holiday. But this will work for now. It still looks nice. It still gives you the vibes. It is freezing and it's getting late. And I feel like Roman's going to kind of make mention of that and just be like, I think we should kind of be heading home. It was really nice to meet you all. Um, 
but I need to get home and tuck my kids into bed. So, you know, maybe we could do this another time. And she's like, okay, I, you know, I understand. And I respect that about you. I admire that. And he's like, well, thank you. So let's go ahead. And we're going to, they can pack the food up. We're going to pretend like they packed the food up, but we're about to go. Okay, guys, so we're home. I just wanted to check their Sims profile because Juliana had, at the dinner, there was something that Roman said or did that she didn't really like. I think she felt like he was giving in to her mother's, you know, like he was feeding into her antics, and he really wasn't, which we saw because he got her, he got her told. Um, she just felt like he didn't need to explain himself, you know, it wasn't, it just, it wasn't, mm -mm. she was doing too much, but anyways, Roman handled that just like he should, he is a king, she needs, you know, Juliana's gonna have to learn to let him lead, because Roman very much is a man with a vision, and he knows where he's, where he's going, and where he's taking his family, so he's got this, I understand she wants to protect him, um, and she wants to kind of, she's nervous, so, you know, for her own sake, she wants to make sure that she's in control of the situation, but trust, Roman's got it, she just has to trust him, okay, but their sentiments are fine, they feel deeply connected, Roman is feeling closer from happy memories, and Juliana feels like they're growing closer with quality time, because she got to see him in a new light, like, she got to actually see him, um, how he worked a room and how he kind of worked with her parents and everything. And, and she found it kind of, kind of, um, kind of sexy. So I'm going to have her go over here and whisper a little something to him as well. And then we're going to go in here and just have a little intimate moment with our man. The kids are feeling hungry. Um, I'm gonna let Leilani go ahead and go to sleep though. It's 11 16 That is another thing I wanted to tell you guys about I'm gonna pause real quick. So this little bonsai tree here Um, Harry actually sent that to Leilani. He has finally been stationed. They stationed him in Mount Kamarebi So we did decide that we're gonna take a family vacation there Unfortunately, she won't be able to see him on that particular trip. However, Harry has asked her to come be with him for a year before she goes off to university. I don't think that Roman's going to be too happy about that. And I don't really know exactly how Leilani feels about it. But he told her that he didn't have to, she didn't have to give him an answer right away. She could think about it. Now, if you remember in the early part of the LP, I mentioned that Leilani was always reading books about faraway places. And she was kind of interested in traveling to those places one day. So I feel like she, there's a part of her, a small part of her that is excited about that idea but at the same time the rational side of her the logical side is just like you know screaming no you've worked so hard to get to where you are and to go to college and if she gets the scholarship she, you know she could lose it if she takes a year break so um I feel like she's leaning more towards not going but just the fact that he asked her has made things between the two of them even more complicated like he's admitted how he feels to her and now she has to figure out how she feels about him and let him know but that's that um I'm gonna let her go ahead and get some sleep I'm gonna let the boys get to bed as well it looks like Jamie is eating finishing up a meal and then he can go ahead and get to bed too oh no baby go ahead and eat is it in his pocket or something okay since you up here just go ahead and go to sleep you can eat in the morning and then where's Jaden? Jaden is taking him a bath <laughs> oh god wait he's in the parents room <gasps> no 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 go to bed okay they haven't made it in here yet go to bed sir That would have been bad. I didn't want him to walk in on them. And I'll just see you guys in the morning. <laughs> okay, guys. So Leilani was the first one up again. I just wanted to come in and kind of 
show you guys the new furniture. So I what I had them do is each of them sold their house, but they kept all of their furniture. And so if you look around the house, I don't know if you guys noticed when I was kind of giving you just that brief little tour of the house or that quick run through, but they kind of merged all of their stuff together. So you'll see bits and pieces of them throughout the house. And I really love that because you can see the families come together, not just their furniture pieces, but them as a as a whole. They've come together as one big family. So um, they did get these new couches but and and this the some of this shelving and stuff but everything else is pretty much new i think this bed is new so their bedroom set is new but like the a lot of the little knickknacks rugs um items in here in the kitchen those are shared items i just really loved that touch about the house it made it feel like a home and not just a house Ollie is running around for whatever reason. Jaden is really needing a bath. Go ahead and clean up for me, boo. And then you can come up and get you a shower or whatever it is you want to do. And then what is today? It's Sunday. His homework is complete. He can probably go downstairs and play some video games. I want him to get to level four. Um, he really likes My Sims Racing, so I'll let him play that. Leilani is just finishing up her donations. Um, she's finished all of the beanies. She just needs to complete the rest of the socks. And then we can send those off just in time for winter, um, I guess. A little early, actually. What day is it? 22 of 28. Yeah, we're close. So Harvest Fest is coming up. That's We want to make sure that's our deadline when we get everything turned in. So pretty excited about that. Family vacation won't be until the earlier half of winter, and that's when we'll go. I guess that'll be okay because it gets super cold winters. You know, there are super cold winters um, in Mount Kamarebi. So hopefully it'll be all right. I do want Leilani to go ahead and send a couple text messages to Harry. Where is he? Yeah. Let's just send him a couple text messages. Let him know that we, we didn't forget about his offer. We're definitely thinking about it. But I want her to kind of let him know how she's thinking, how she's feeling. She's like... You know, I really worked hard to get to where I am, and it looks like I might get, you know, a scholarship or two. I just don't know if coming there for a year would be worth it. Like, we don't even know if we would work out as a couple. She's really tormented by this. That's crazy. Oh, now she's in a mood. Okay, well... That's teenagers for you. Leilani and Ju not Leilani, Juliana and Roman are sleeping in a little bit because Juliana is usually up and at them by now. <laughs> but they had a fun time last night, so uh, they're probably going to sleep in for quite a while. I want Leilani to try to do something about this mood that she's in. Let's maybe, do we have any videos that we need to edit? Let's edit that one. That should cheer her up a little bit. What's this out here? Wild catnip and a wild apple tree. Okay. And when she's done with that, she can express her melancholy thoughts if it's not gone. Um, but yeah, I wanted you to see the little touches by her bed. So... She's got her little picture like, y'all, she likes him. She does. She just is afraid to admit it for some reason. I don't know if it's because he's away from her, and so she's just not sure how she would feel in a relationship with him being so far away. You know, maybe she thinks it won't work, but she's got, like, just a little ode to him. I mean, it's the picture that they took together in this little anchor, and, um... I just thought it was really cute. 
she's got this cute little poster here. It just says the first step is you have to say you can. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I feel like we had another one, but I'm not seeing it. She's got her little workstation here for all of her knitting stuff and her little photo wall. I thought that was really sweet, a sweet touch as well. She's trying not to kind of make things too personal in the room because she won't be here, you know, much longer. Like, she'll be here for a year, so she can settle in a little bit, but she doesn't want to get too, too, too comfortable. Um, I don't know how long I've been recording, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like comment, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure you have notifications turned on so that you'll always be notified whenever I upload a new video. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.